All right. Um, so now we're in the uh, the demonic area of the game. Basically, one thing that we are going to want here. Uh, I think I only have one of them. I hope I don't need to use more than one of them, but the egg vermifuge. Uh, now, all I have left to do in the game is uh, kill the main two bosses, and I'm also going to go back into the uh, into the Great Hollow, and we're going to make our way down to the uh, I think it's called Ash Lake but uh, we are gonna go there probably next video uh, not necessary to beat the game but I am trying to get through here but yeah this area is called Demon Ruins and that is where we're going next but we have a boss fight uh, first um so anyway <laughs> Um, this boss isn't too hard, it's called the Ceaseless Discharge. Not the highest quality boss fight, um, not super hard, not super easy e uh, either. Uh, but we are going to be killing the Ceaseless Discharge. So anyway, you you're going to want to make your way here. Uh, make your way here, and there is the boss. Now the boss is not going to try to kill you at all until you do a specific thing. So basically what we're going to do is we are going to go past him, and we're going to grab that right there. When you grab it, full attack. Now he's mad at us, and we're going to start running. Now there is a way to get him stuck in a, a certain area, where basically you just run this way. I haven't been able to do it before, but you can cheese him that way. I'm going to try to cheese him that way, and if I can't, I'm just going to kill him. He's not all too hard, uh, he does shoot fire at you like that, um, that's one of those attacks, uh, pretty dangerous, um, yeah, he is just going to, I've never been able to get this to work, um, Yeah, there we go. He's following us. Oh, yep. Oh, we got it to work. Yeah, now you just hit him a couple times here. He can't move anywhere. Alright, that... That makes the boss fight even easier. Yeah, we just gotta... Oh, yeah, and then at some point after you hit him enough times like that, while he is stuck, he's just... He's just gonna lose it all. Um, all the health. And now uh, all the lava that we saw is going to start draining. But yeah, we got uh, Homeward Bone and we got 20,000. I'm going to use that actually. And uh, level up. Use some uh, soul items to level up. And uh, yeah, we're, we are going to a new area. I don't think I can. Yeah, I need. And I'm already at. 32,000 just to get one level. Yeah, at some point in the game when you like keep leveling up more and more and more and more. Um, I think this is... Okay, a little bit more, but that, that'll work. Uh, yeah, as you keep leveling up, you need more and more and more, and at a certain point, it really only makes sense to try to level up a New Game Plus, because as, as we go to New Game Plus, we're going to get more and more um, opportunities uh, to get souls, but yeah, endurance doesn't even increase uh, stamina anymore. It only does equip load, so we're not going to do that. Um, 
I'm thinking I should get my strength up a little bit. Um, so I'm going to start working on strength now and vitality. Um, dexterity, not so much. I'm not really going for a dex build. Uh, but yeah, you can get all those levels up um, if you want. Uh, if you go into New Game Plus enough, like over and over again, you'll eventually get to a point where you have enough souls to actually max out everything like intelligence faith um like literally everything but uh, yeah that will take you a ridiculously long amount of time people have done it i might try to do it at some point but uh not for right now but anyway now that we're down here we're gonna go explore right here these are mini tourist demons and uh and yeah they don't have as much health um but basically there are a bunch of these guys three times with oh okay that guy is charging at us they give uh 1200 uh souls um yeah they're the only thing uh their health is just uh not as good as uh, the Taurus Demon. Um, right. There we go. I wonder what these guys are actually guarding. Oh man, we have three of them now to deal with. Okay. Oh shit, yeah, let's, let's just run. <laughs> there are uh, some items I see in the distance. I'm going to try to get those before inevitably dying. One of them is in lava. I'm going to need to walk through the lava and take a ton of damage. Okay. Man, these guys are just chasing us. Okay, is that an, that looks like an item? Okay, yeah, we can't do it. Okay, whatever. Um, we'll come back later. We will get a certain item that lets us walk through lava. Okay. We're not going to go down there. I'm going to look up where to get the lava ring. I think you just killed the centipede demon. Okay, yeah, uh, we don't actually need to worry about that. Um, we will get that item uh, no matter what. Uh, but yeah, the uh, we're going to get a ring. Actually, speaking of rings, I don't need... Um, I don't need the, uh, this anymore. Let's put on... Ring of the Evil Eye, why not? We... I don't need to go this way. Alright, oh man, we are getting close to the uh, Bed of Chaos, one of the worst boss fights uh, in Souls history. Not one of the uh, hardest though, but one of the worst. Oh, oh, okay. We just took uh, fall damage. All right, um, I believe that we want to go here, uh, yep, that's right, these are Capra Demons. We're fighting Taurus Demons and Capra Demons now as enemies. Uh, 
There we go. And uh, and yeah, there are gonna be uh, some very annoying. Oh, what the fuck? Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, whatever. Uh, more. I just like fell off for no fucking reason. What the fuck? Okay, whatever though. Um. Yeah, we'll spill. Get back down. Uh, these guys, um, don't let them hit you. They will put a parasite onto your head, and it will consume a hundred thousand uh, souls, and then hatch. But uh, we don't want to do that because we could use those uh, for leveling up. Uh, I'll do that in New Game Plus because uh, after it eats a uh, hundred thousand, it will uh, hatch into a companion. Uh, really weird, but uh, I think it can be useful. Ah, uh, but yeah. Um, there we go. Alright, let's hope we don't, uh, oh, that is why, it's because, uh, okay, that explains it, I just didn't, uh, see that on the floor, okay, that is why. Okay, more Capper Demons, oh, we got a couple, alright. Oh, that guy doesn't uh, appear to be aggroed, which is strange. There's going to be a bonfire, by the way, pretty close to here. Oh, come on, you bitch. Okay. There we go. There we go. Alright. Okay, I know where to get the next bonfire. We need to kill this uh, giant maggot. Yep, right here. And the bonfire will appear. Okay, let's. Yeah, these are very dangerous. Um, Alright. There we go. Bonfire can now be lit. That won't respawn. Alright, and we did it. Uh, we got two bonfire down here. Soul of a proud knight. I mean, I have quite a bit now. All right, we are this guy's back, and uh, yeah, we are 
going to do a couple of things uh, down here. Let's kill all these enemies. I I don't know if I'm going to need to kindle the bonfire. I might need to. Probably would not be a bad idea if uh, this is your first uh, playthrough. Okay, giant demon. Okay, and we have to worry about that too. Uh, okay, we're not going to worry about that guy on the right, uh, the giant worm right now. Right. We're gonna. This is completely optional, but I believe it allows you to upgrade chaos weapons. There will be one more here. Okay, let's not fall off. Okay. Okay, did not fall off. Good. Now, we have to get to the chest that you can uh, barely see back there. Okay. Okay, we have, and there will be a lot of these guys that show up. Okay. I've noticed that the best way to deal with these is to run up, hit them once, retreat, and repeat. Like this. Okay, I didn't hit them that time, but I'm going to retreat. Run up. Do that. Come back. Oh, no, oh, oh shit. Okay, that is, nah, not good, come on, okay, 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 I don't think we're gonna die, though. Good, okay, um, yeah, that was not good. Hit, okay, there we go. Yeah, these guys right here are really, really creepy. Um, one, I think, I'm pretty sure there are gonna be a couple more, yep. Yeah, they just... Oh, okay, now they're behind. Oh, they wait till... Okay, that's weird. Oh, we have four more to kill, but these guys are really creepy. I think I think we can, like, get both of these at once. Yeah. Uh, nope. I don't think we did it, but just run. Yeah, they're like giant maggots with, like, really disgusting heads with teeth. Like, what maggots have teeth? That's, that's gross. Like, I'm sorry, that's just... Ugh. Like, these things... They kind of look like um, beetle maggots. Um, I remember I watched a nature documentary where uh, beetle maggots that looked uh, similar to this were being eaten by termites because I guess termites eat the maggots of beetles in the wild. Um, and the beetle maggots in the documentary kind of looked like this just without the, uh, the weird proboscis and mouth and really fucked up teeth. Oh, but yeah, we're just gonna... There we go, yeah. Man, those are creepy. Ugh. Again, the only reason we're doing this is to upgrade chaos weapons. If you don't want to do that, it's not necessary. I just want to get the gamer score. Oh, shit, okay. There we go. Alright, large flame ember. That is what we need. It might be fire items, though, I th but I think it's chaos. But either way, we'll need it to uh, get all the gamer score.
I just want to get gamer score. But yeah, that is all we have to do there. Now we're going to go to the boss, but before that, we are going to make a stop back to the bonfire. There will be another boss. Uh, actually, there are going to be two more bosses after this one. This place is basically like a boss run. Like, we, uh, we got the first guy down. There's going to be the next guy. Then after that, in this area, there are going to be two more that we have to fight. But yeah, after the demon ruins, we go to a place called Lost Isolith. Uh, yeah, actually, I I see an item in the distance. I am gonna get that item. Okay, yeah, whatever. I don't have to kill everybody. Oh. Do you want that item though? Whatever it is. Soul of a brave warrior, alright. Oh shit. Okay, yep. Find me. Oh shit. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Bad. Bad enemies. Um We're gonna come up here, we're gonna go through the uh, fog gate, uh but first actually let's Let's come down here and, uh... Actually, no, I don't think I want to go down there yet. I'll, I'll go down there after the boss. Any... I don't think... I think Solaire will uh, appear here occasionally. I don't know how to get him to get there. I don't really know the uh, Solaire quest line, but... I'm going to go through the uh, mist, and uh, we're going to fight the demon fire sage. Yeah, this one is pretty hard. Uh, thankfully, touching it doesn't uh, cause uh, actual damage, though. But, uh, yeah, you have to be quick in this fight. Yep, jump. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, yep, that's not good. That is not good. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, shit! Yep, not good at all. Not good at all. Basically, like, it's kind of like the Chaos Demon, just slightly harder, only slightly. Um. Yeah, this boss also is pretty much a reskin of a reskin of a boss. It's basically the Chaos Demon with the uh, same move set, but uh, that was a reskin of the Asylum Demon. Ah, oh, man, fuck! I really hate that move right there. Okay, and, and it's gonna do the move again. Okay. Um. Oh shit, I thought I was far enough away. Fuck. Okay, well, whatever. Hey, one more hit and it's dead. There we go, alright. Bye bye. Here we go. And we got Demons, Catalyst, and Humanity, alright. We're gonna go to our next bonfire. 
At least I think we are. Actually, no, I don't think we do have a bonfire. We're going to go up first. Uh... And, uh... Oh, these guys are guarding, uh, something. Alright. Alright, another soul item. We're going to go up. Come up here. And uh, we found another shortcut. We're going to rest at the bonfire out here now because it is uh, quicker. Uh, because we basically just got a short cut. Okay, uh, I can level up again. Level up. Now let's get that vitality up to... That can go up to 50 strength. I'm still trying to get up. And my... My levels are looking pretty nice, actually, uh... Oh, oh, wait, 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 no, 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 oh, we're dead. Oh, we're not, okay. Or right, whatever, um. Actually, I'm gonna send it back up. Now we're gonna go down. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Okay, I tried to run past them, but... Ugh, you gotta be fucking kidding. Man. All right, we're going back. Normally we could uh, respawn right at that bonfire uh, that is uh, inside, but we killed the firekeeper. Definitely was worth it though, because now we have plus six, which is really good. Come on, go up. We're gonna have to kill these uh, statues, but uh, just the ones uh, that block the way. Here we go. All right, and now we're up to kill the uh, the centipede demon and the bed of chaos.
Okay, uh, we do get another bonfire here, I guess. Okay, that actually would have been more helpful than... Okay, well, whatever. Um, we are gonna go all the way down here. And I did not mean to jump onto the floor, but whatever. Uh... I wonder. I don't. I don't know which uh, shields provide fire damage or fire resistance. Well, yeah, whatever. I I've been going through the game pretty nicely. Um, yeah, you will want fire resistance, though. Now we're fighting the centipede demon. Oh, man, wow. Yeah, don't go into the lava at all. Okay, I like going to this platform right here. And then just whacking him. Oh, man, we're about to go to Lost Isolith. He is... Uh, oh, come on. Okay, if that happens, you want to spam R1 and R2 really quickly, I think. I think that is what you want to do. Just alternate between R1 and R2 and just spam that shit quickly. Oh yeah, he'll drop like a demon or a weird centipede on you like that. Okay. Oh, oh man. Oh, fuck. You gotta be kidding me. Fuck. Okay, whatever. Um. Alright, well. We are pretty close to the boss fight anyway. Um. Okay, man, we just, I think this is the best platform to go to. Okay. And everything, just, you have such a small area to go to, although that does look like, oh man, there goes our stamina. Wow. Oh, fuck. On you, motherfucker. We did get the orange charred ring by uh, cutting off his tail. You don't have to cut off his tail. I just happened to do so. If you don't get the orange charred ring from chopping off his tail, you will get it from killing him at the end. We do need that ring, but you will either get it from chopping off his tail mid-fight or uh, killing him at the end. Uh, so if you didn't get it already right now, you would get it. Uh, but we actually do need to equip that right now.
All right. Uh, I'm gonna go with Havel's ring and then orange charred ring. The orange charred ring reduces lava damage by a lot. As you can see, I can basically walk through lava without immediately just dying. Um, but I think we come over here. I think we open this. No. Don't where do we go? We go to Lost Isolith, um, which there will be. Okay, that's right. We want to go into this tunnel right here. All right, we are entering Lost Isolith, and that was the third boss that we had to kill. We have one more left. The next one is. It's not difficult as much as it is annoying it won't be hard to do but it will be annoying um, yeah let's get that up to 35 uh, but yeah I'm not uh, looking forward to it but anyway we're going through a really annoying area of the game lost eyes with everybody hates this place Myself included. Um, I think it sucks. I think that uh, it isn't fun at all to go through here. But we're going through here regardless to beat the game. Okay, Soul of Brave Warrior. Alright, there are going to be dragons that are here. Okay, there we go. We are to the first safe zone, kind of. There we go. We're going to come here, kill this guy. I think there is an invisible wall. Uh, and I think it leads to a chest. Oh no, no hidden wall here. Okay, but uh, oh man, I forgot to do the mimic check. Okay, we get a soul of a great hero. That is a very powerful soul item, and now we have dragons uh, following us. Okay, not good. Not good at all, but anyway, we're going to go here, and basically we are going to just get to our next bonfire, which is right here, very close. There we go, we're going to drop off. Okay, which, well, one of these walls will disappear if you hit it, and it will reveal a bonfire. For this one, no, 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 no. This one, maybe? Nope, the last one I checked. Of course, it would be the last one I checked. Oh, man. Oh, that dragon almost got me. Um, okay, drink, drink, drink. Chug. Okay, we're here. We're here. We're to the bonfire. And I believe the soul of a great hero is worth 20,000. Let's check. It is. And now, I think we should have enough. No, we need, we need about more than a thousand. I always need a little bit more than like a thousand or like, it, it annoys me. There we go, that'll work. Actually, strength will actually uh, cause some more damage output. Yeah, I'm gonna do strength actually. That actually does add to my damage output.
All right, so now that we have rested there, we, we're going to go here. We're going to kill the bed of chaos. We're going to go under here. We're going to walk up this area. We're going to come down here. We're going to kill these guys. Actually, no, we're not even going to kill them. Uh, we're just going straight to the boss. Uh, this boss run, you are probably going to make a couple of times. Um, I'm probably going to make it a couple of times. Hopefully not, but I probably will have to make it a couple of times. We're going to come up here. Uh, you're going to have to kill this weird thing. This looks like um, something that you would see if you took a bunch of LSD and then had a terrifying nightmare um, wall high on it. That is honestly what that looks like. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go up here. There is going to be an enemy that we want to kill. Um, she's hard to kill, but once you kill, uh, she will not respawn at all, but she does actual attacks that are very dangerous. Uh, I got her before she could do any of them, uh, so just try to kill her. We get the Isolith Catalyst. Alright, nice. Um, not going to go down there. We're going to go through here. There is more stuff to do here, but... Uh, first, we're going to go this way. Now, we're going to fight the Bed of Chaos. I recommend going left first, uh, but there are going to be three things that you need to attack. A left, right, and middle. We need to attack the left side first, because it'll be easier than the right, and then finally the middle. Here's how we fight the Bed of Chaos. Um, another good thing about this is once we make progress in this boss fight, it actually saves progress, and we just need to run back here. Uh, to do it again, but we're going to go here. And once we're here, we just have to roll our way in here, and we hit that, hit that thing in the middle, like that, and now it has lost uh, some of its health, but it basically remembers that. Uh, oh no, I didn't even know there was a, a hole in the floor there. I did not notice that, but that is saved now. Now that we did that, the game remembers it, um, so now we just have to get the right in the middle. That is pretty much how this boss fight is going to go, but you need to do the left or right first, then the other side, and then the middle. You, uh, once you get to the middle, you can kill the boss, uh, completely. He'll be dead. And, uh, after that, we only have one more boss, uh, to kill. Although, we are going to make it through the Great Hollow first. Um... I am going to let everyone know right now. Um, the Great Hollow is a um, an optional part of the game. Uh, you don't have to do it if you don't want to do it. But uh, we are going to do it uh, for the tutorial. But the next video you can uh, skip. I'm just going to say if you really want to skip the next one, you can. Uh, if you're using a dragon weapon... Um, and you want the dragon scales, then do not skip it, but um, there are going to be a lot of good things uh, to get in the Great Hollow. The Great Hollow is basically like, you know, an Easter basket. It is full of goodies. Uh, so yeah, we're going to, we're going to come up here. Yep, we're going to go straight. We're going to go for the right side next. Uh, this boss does um, hit you really quickly. Um, spam attacks. We'll probably one-shot you. We'll try to uh, push you into your sudden doom. Um, it has hands that, uh, that sweep you into holes on the floor. So yeah, here is what we're going to do. Basically, as we go here, 
the floor is going to break like so. A hand is going to do that and try to sweep us into holes. Um, we're going to have our shield up and hopefully that hand doesn't get us, but we are... Okay, we're going to try not to fall in. Alright, there we go. That was pretty easy. Yeah, that's why I do the left side first, because right side is not nearly as hard. And now that we've done that, uh, we just have the middle. I'm going to try not to die, but I probably will. I'm close, it looks like. Okay, okay. Yep, we're dead. Well, whatever. We are going to come back here now. We're going to do the middle. And the middle, actually, a lot of people say the middle is hard, but I don't agree with that um, at all. I don't think that the middle is difficult uh, one bit. All right, yep, we just need to do it one more time. Bed of, Bed of Chaos is honestly just more annoying than anything else. Um, it isn't difficult. Um, you just have to kind of get lucky, if that makes sense. Um, honestly, most people kind of... Uh, come to the agreement that Bed of Chaos is the worst boss uh, in the entire game. Um, I kind of agree with that. Um, I, I do think it is the worst. Uh, but yeah, we are going to get 25 gamer score for getting it though. And also the next video we are going to get more gamer score as well. Um, so if you're trying to get up your PlayStation trophies or your gamer score, whichever, um, Next video, I'll show you how to do that a little bit more. Uh, because we are going to enter a covenant in Ash Lake that gives us 25 gamer score, I think it is. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go through the, uh, the mist. And we're just going to go down. And alright, so here's what you do at this part of the boss fight. You're going to run towards the middle. The middle is going to break apart. But just run towards the middle. And hopefully that doesn't happen. Holy fuck. Okay. Um, jump onto this branch. And he can still attack you at any point. By the way, we are going to drink just in case. Alright. And we're going to go in. We're going to keep making our way. Um, not too dangerous here, but he still can attack you. Um, yeah, by the way, the health bar... Oh, man, yeah, see, he can still attack you. Don't think he can't. Don't get cocky and think, uh, just, just attack. His health just went all the way to zero. We're gonna drink, and now we got more gamer score. Or a gamer score, let's go. And now there's a bonfire here. Fun fact about this bonfire. Um, if you... Uh, you can actually kill the bed of chaos. Um, before you... Uh, you get the lord vessel. After Orn, Stina, and Smog. And doing that will actually mean... That uh, if you get the bonfire... You'll be stuck. Because you can't warp out. As you can see right here we are stuck we cannot leave there is literally nowhere to go except down there which is just death uh, so basically if you defeat this boss and then rest at the bonfire um, before uh, defeating Ornstein and Smog and getting the Lord Vessel uh, you end up with a broken save, and you can't beat the game, you're stuck there forever, and you just have to start a new save. Which is not good, as you can imagine. Okay, what do I want? Strength. 
<laughs> right now, let's get that up a little bit. Oh man, we can still use some soul items r uh, really quick. There we go. I don't think we can. Yeah, we need. Uh, we need about three thousand more. Yeah, that's gonna be five thousand, but whatever. Oh no, just three thousand. Okay, that works. There we go. Uh, what should I get up now? Vitality, endurance, just will not help. Um. Yeah, whatever, we'll do that. Alright, I am actually going to warp to um Actually I'm gonna warp to Crystal K first, uh to get purging stones. Uh, because the Great Hollow, there will be purging stones. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go to the Crystal Cave. And uh, the next video is about to start.